stalker's twisted game, salacious photos of her appear, threatening her job and her friendship with Frank. No one imagines, least of all naive Julia, the danger ahead when following the clues turns into a fight for her life. Very good. Alice Luisi is the baker of brownies and tormentor of characters. Alice Luisi celebrates the day she jumped the wall at, with as much enthusiasm as her birthday. She grew up watching Hammer Horror Films and Scooby-Doo Mysteries, which explains a whole lot. When she's not creating trouble for her sleuth, Julia Driscoll, or inspiring nightmares as her alter ego, Kate Morgan, she can be found growing vegetables in her garden and water lilies in her koi pond. I think uh, this should be a fun read. Well, growing up in Catholic school, I'll be interested to see how nuns fare in the <laughs> outside world. <laughs> Sounds like a pretty good book, but we decided to start with the first oh, book in the nice. series so that we could get to know our characters before we uh, went too far. Well, that takes us to the end of another episode. Uh, we once again want to thank Cynthia Kuhn for answering these questions. I hope she's our, with our take on the book. And this Thank wasn't you. a bad book. It was just no. not, oh, absolutely. I not hope my it didn't. cup of tea. And I hope people don't get the idea that it's a bad book. Not. It's well written. Characters are well developed. And the storyline, other than the ending. It had good bones. It did have good bones. Yes. And, and in, in the one thing we always have to remind ourselves about is that this is the first in the series. There are two other books in the series and that we can't really comment on wh what I direction. I haven't read those yet. And so. how the series pro progresses. So when we read the others, maybe we'll report back and let you know. If you do read Force of Habit by Alice Luisi, contact us and send us your review at darkandstormybookclub at gmail.com. And don't forget to go to our website. It was a darkandstormybookclub.com. And there you'll find links to all our shows and our social media. And we also have an Amazon affiliate button, which you can order through our website. Click on the button and it'll take you to Amazon. It doesn't have to be an order for books or anything. Anything you order from Amazon, you can do through that website. It doesn't cost you an any, but it helps us out. We could really use some new equipment. So Anne mentioned our social media. So we are on Facebook, and that's at Dark and Stormy Book Club. That's our group name. And Twitter, at Dark Stormy BC. So look for our shares and tweets and posts and all kinds of goodies. And send us your reviews another, and comment. And another thing you can do on our website is sign up for our, our newsletter. We just sent out our first official newsletter. And if you sign up, we'll be happy to send you that version. We plan on sending one out the first of every month. And it will have our recommendations upcoming events, and anything else we want to put on there. We do have an event we'd like to talk about that's coming up in a few weeks. We are going to be attending the Collinswood Book Festival in Collinswood, New Jersey. We're very excited. It'll be our first official event that we are going to have a booth. It'll be October 6th. And it's booth 111. Yes, come find us, please. We'd love to. We're going to have some giveaways. We're going to have a... I we're going to have a drawing for a prize. Please come visit us at the Book Fest. We, we're very excited. Okay, well, all right. We're going to wrap this up now. We've been rambling way too long. <laughs> we hope you listened to our episode just before this one in Agatha's Footsteps. We're really looking forward to our next interview with an established author. So please look out for any future in Agatha Footsteps episodes. Those won't be on any certain schedule like our other episodes. 
So they'll just be a surprise. Okay. We thank you for listening. We'll see you next time. And remember, life would be boring without a little mystery. Bye. Bye.